Welcome back to my channel, Inspire from Universe. It's a student special channel. Thank you for your generous support for my first video. We have seen from my first video important places in London. If you have missed watching my first episode, kindly click the link in my description box and watch it. For not missing my video, subscribe to my channel. We are going to see about the history of various immigrants in the UK. In the UK, majority are white British of around 85%. Next comes the black immigrants, followed by Indians and Pakistanis. Blacks are a majority of immigrants in the UK. Around 1,500 years back, Romans ruled the UK for around 400 years. It is believed with various evidences that even during that period, black immigrant slaves from Africa lived in the UK. But only after the 15th century, numerous slaves were brought from the Caribbean islands and Africa. Those days, those black immigrants were considered only as a commodity. During that time, it was considered as a status symbol for white British if they had a black man, woman, or child as their servant in their home. Even in palaces, some of their paintings have black servants standing in some corners. During the end of the 18th century, the British Army had a huge manpower shortage and hence they did the largest single purchase of slaves from the Caribbean islands. Many times instead of money, they have done barter system and purchased slaves against manufactured goods like clothes, liquor and weapons. All these black immigrants were used in their army, navy, and for construction jobs to build hospitals, railways, and to work in factories, etc. But now it's not the case. They are living in much better conditions. These blacks are physically strong people. Hence, they are highly successful as security guards, police officers, and in sports fields. When we talk about Indian immigrants, Punjabis are the majorities. If you look into their history during and post the period of the Second World War in 1940s and 50s, due to a major shortage of manpower in the British Army, many Punjabis were recruited by them. Apart from that, even for constructing factories, airports, hospitals, railways, etc., they had been recruited. In those days, Punjabis had gone alone leaving their families in India. Only after long periods, their families joined them. In London, most of the Punjabis live in South All. This area is even called as Little Punjab. In South All Market Street, you can get all items that we can get in Punjab. You can get the same happy feelings while walking here as though you were walking in a famous market street in Punjab. Next important Indian immigrants are Gujaratis. They have an interesting different story. At the end of the 15th century, Gujaratis had successfully established trade with East African countries. In this way, Gujarati families have migrated to African countries like Kenya and Uganda. After Britain started ruling these countries, they had brought many Punjabis for railway construction jobs. By these means, Punjabis and Gujaratis had migrated to these African countries. In the 1960s, Kenya and Uganda got independent. 
Punjabis and Gujaratis who lived in these countries have migrated with families again to the UK. They are known as double immigrants. They were doing well in African countries with rich business knowledge and hence when they migrated to the UK, they established many businesses there. The Gujaratis have settled in Alperton and in Ealing Road. They have established a Gujarati market street with so many Indian shops. You can get every Gujarati item right from food, sweets, clothes and accessories. When we look at our Tamil immigrants in the UK, in the 1940s, few Tamil people have migrated for jobs. But from the 1970s, many students have gone there for their higher education and are successful there as computer professionals, doctors, etc. But a majority of Tamils are from Sri Lanka as refugees during the war in Sri Lanka in the 1980s and the 1990s. In London, a majority of Tamil are living in East Ham. Many shops, restaurants like our famous Saravana Bhavan are there. You can get in East Ham Market Street all items from our South India and from Sri Lanka including jasmine flower and curry leaves. When you walk down the street, you can feel like you are walking in the streets of Bondi Bazaar in Chennai. After India-Pakistan partition happened in 1947, many Pakistanis have also immigrated to the United Kingdom. Majority of them are into business, mainly into clothing and restaurants. When you are in London, it's possible to eat hot idlis and dosas from a Tamil chef in East Ham. And in the afternoon, you can have chats and sweets from Gujarati street market. And in the evening, you can have hot samosas and jalebis from our Punjabi chefs in the South All Market Street. Sounds really interesting, right? In this video, we have seen the history of immigrants in the UK. Let us check in my next video about the living style of people in the UK. Thank you for watching this video. Please give your valuable feedback in the comment section below. Subscribe for knowing interesting information about our world and kindly share to your friends and families. Until I meet you all soon with yet another interesting video, take care and bye friends!